Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Season 2, Episode 7. What's up guys, I'm back with episode 7 of season 2 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'm back in my JV's Galactic merch, super comfy um, uh, hoodie because I'm I'm still sick, my throat's still messed up. So um, yeah, the hoodies are available at the merch store if you want to check it out. Um, Anyway, okay, so let's talk about last week's episode. It was when I was editing it, I was like, holy crap, this this episode's amazing. So we started to, we got introduced to Giles, his like, kind of his like nemesis, Ethan, I think his name, yeah, Ethan is his name, and we got introduced to the fact that Giles has a like shady past, like he, he was kind of not a good guy before, and this guy, him and like Ethan and Giles used to work together. And now Giles has changed and Ethan is like, this isn't who you are and stuff. So there's a lot of cool stuff there. We saw like a a side of Giles, like kind of the serious side. He wanted answers. He like Batman beat the answers out of Ethan. It was so cool. It was like kicking him on the ground and um, getting the answers out of him, kind of like Batman style. So we've never seen that side of Giles in front of Buffy and Xander and stuff. Well, I've never seen it. And um, so it's it's interesting to know that, you know, something else is going on because I thought he was just like a kid and then he became the watcher at a really young age, you know, and that was his life because he talked about that with Buffy. There's all this in between stuff with this Ethan guy who um, which is this is really, really cool. So and it was a fun episode, the, the Halloween stuff and the, everyone transforming and it, it was a fun episode. Um. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, okay, so let's get into this week's episode. I could keep going, but I we got to watch the new episode. So, um, guys, if you want to check out the full unedited Raw Reaction, check out Patreon. It's where those are posted, and you get early access to episodes. They're going to be way ahead over there. I'm going to start to ramp it up on uh, Patreon, so uh, look out for that. Oh, yes, I also want to shout out a bunch of people that are commenting on in the Patreon videos. I really appreciate your comments, so... Um, Sorry if I butcher your name. So, uh, Briani, thank you. Raven Dark, uh, Ashley, Vicky, and Crystal. You guys are awesome. Always, um, yeah, with the comments. I really, yeah, I really like it. You guys help me out so much with, like, seeing things in a different way. And, you know, because I, I, I react and review these immediately, right? So, I don't have time to kind of digest what I just saw and think about it and watch it again. It's kind of like... I see it and I say it and then I move on. So it's good to kind of like have these comments so I could kind of, you know, rethink some of the stuff I saw. So I really appreciate that. If you can't join Patreon, don't forget to subscribe. That is the best way to support the channel. And a lot of you guys um, aren't subscribed. So please, please hit that big red subscribe button at the bottom. That is the best way to show your support and to get these videos uh, when I post them. All right, let's go. What the heck? Why is there a kid? No, Get away from this kid. Oh my god, this is horrible. Is cold. They wouldn't kill a kid. Run away! So that's just... Oh. Run home. Yes! Thank you, Angel. Jeez, that's so horrible. She was gonna kill him. What the hell, man? Get out of here. My angel. I love you, Stella. You mean my angel? What are you talking about? Kill her right now. No. She was gonna kill a child. No, you can't. This is freaking eerie, man. What, they used to date? Man, they were just, like, together. They had that good, that, like, chill in, um, in her bedroom. And they seemed not, like, <coughs> damn, I keep trying not to cough. They seemed like they were going to, you know, start, like, being a normal relationship. Not normal, but you know what I'm trying to say. It seemed good, like they are on a good path. But now this is going to mess everything up. Because Angel Buffy's gonna think something's going on with Angel and Priscilla. I'm still not sure about her name, but I'll get it. Xander and Willow. Billy Ford, um, you're doomed. Nice to meet Just you. by knowing these guys, uh, you, you're either gonna, gonna be a vampire or you're gonna and die somehow. For real? Hey, something's Angel, something's going on with this guy. You know, what is really what is it? Um, you take a walk? He's not a vampire. Um, sure. That'd be nice. He's gonna find out her secret immediately. 
He's gonna be kicking his butt and this is gonna kill him. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Ah! There was a, a cat. And then there was he a, just, another cat. He just saw that, right? And they fought. The cats. I thought you were just slaying a vampire. <gasps> what? Wedding a what? I know, Buffy. You don't have to lie. I know you're the slayer. What? This is amazing. Like that he told you? What is like this that? guy? What's Said the deal? Right oh, I can't wait. <clears throat> He's like going to be at home like doing some ritual like nah, this he something's up with this guy. Look at him. The music. Please tell me they're like vampire hunters. That would be cool. A couple more days and we'll get to do the two things every American teen should have the chance to do. Die young. And stay pretty. Oh, these guys want to be vampire, but they don't know, man, what it's really like. Not like the movies. I just checked the school records, and he's not in them. Oh, I mean, usually shoot. they transfer your grades and stuff, but he's not even registered. So I cannot hang well. this. Are you drinking coffee again? Because we've talked about this. <laughs> <laughs> drinking coffee. It must be hard for Buffy to trust anyone, because everyone seems to be... Like, bad. You got one chance to live. Tell me what I want and no one I let you go. So, I think Ford is gonna go where Spike's lair is, I think now. He got the info. And then Spike is just gonna kill him. He might just like crack his neck and then suck his blood. I don't know. He won't turn him though. Because that's what he wants, right? And, and they could... S Kill, suck blood and stuff without turning people. They have to cho choose to turn them. This is a great episode, by the way, guys. This is what I want to see. But they who walk with the night are not interested in harming anyone. You're a fool. They don't mean to harm anyone. What are you talking about? These people don't know anything about vampires. What they are, how they live, how they dress. <laughs> Here he is. I would totally live here. Do I have anyone on watch here? We <laughs> just walked in. Well, didn't we finally Spikes find a restaurant there. that delivers? I've got something to offer you. It's no fun if you don't say it. What the heck is wrong with this guy? Uh, you've got 30 seconds to convince me not to kill you. Yes! See, this is the best. I'm offering you a trade. You make me a vampire. And I'll give you the Slayer. Oh, shoot. Making a bargain with Spike. Bad idea. He might make you a vampire and then kill you after that. I can take the truth. Do you love me? Whoa. You gotta wait for someone to say I love you. You don't ask. I love you. I don't know if I trust you. Maybe you shouldn't do either. Maybe I'm the one who should decide. Didn't say it back. I did a lot of unconscionable things when I became a vampire. Drusilla was the worst. She was pure, sweet, chaste. First, I made her insane. Killed everybody she loved. Oh. Visited every mental torture on her I could devise. What? And on the day she took her holy orders, I turned her into a demon. God, that's so horrible. Jeez, he, he was right, man. I asked for the truth. Yeah. I like surprises. Can you meet me here? Sure. At nine? At nine. Mm. Do you really think they'll bless us? No way. They're going to kill they're gonna... all of you guys. No. It's really not. Oh, she came. I'm going to be one of them. You want to be a vampire. Just like, you know, vampires uh, are a little picky about who the they change Twilight. Up. You were going to offer them a trade. You were going to give them me tonight. Yes. I didn't know I'd figure it out. Actually, I was counting on it. It's just like it played in my head. You know the part it's where you asked me what's supposed nuts. to happen? Look at this guy. It's already happening. Oh, this is the freaking trap. Rigged up special. So once it's closed, it can only be opened from the outside. No one gets out of here alive. 
Damn, that was pretty clever. I did not see that coming, that this was the trap. It's what we want. It's our chance for immortality. You're going to die. And the only hope you have of surviving this is to get out of this pit right now. And my God, could you have a dorkier outfit? You're what we call the bad guy. I guess I am. <laughs> I will become immortal. Yeah, I've right. got a news flash for kill you, you too, bud. It's not how it works. You die. And a demon sets up shop in your old house and it walks and it talks and it remembers your life, but it's not you. Yeah. For these demon, people it's don't not deserve you. to die. Well, neither do I. But apparently no one took that into consideration because I'm still dying. What, he's got cancer or something? I look good, don't I? I got maybe six months left and by then what they bury won't even look like me. Oh, crap. Damn. Yeah, he's got cancer. I'm sorry, Summers. Did I screw up your righteous anger riff? Does the nest of tumors liquefying my brain kind of spoil the fun? Brain tumor like that other kid. Oh, man. That's horrible. That changes everything. Gosh. What you're doing is still very wrong. True. Okay. You're opting for mass murder here, and nothing you say is going to make that okay. You think I need to justify myself to you? I think this is all part of your little fantasy drama. Well, I do feel sorry for you, and if those vampires come in here and start feeding, I'll kill you myself. Please. Come on, Ford. Do the right thing. Come on. This is not the mothership, people. This is ugly death come to play. Oh. The hell? This guy's beating up Buffy? What the heck, man? How's that possible? Got hit by a human. Come on, that's nothing. Having second thoughts? Take them all. Save the Slayer for me. Holy Ford. Is that Ford? Yeah. Oh, they're all getting killed. A nightmare. Whoa! Super jump. Everybody stop! Fits in an Let ashtray. Nice, nice, nice. Good job, Buffy. Yeah, she saved everyone. But they got bit. Are they going to turn? I, it, I don't know how it works on Buffy. On um, Twilight, it's a little different. It's like one bite and you, you turn. It could be on your arm. It could be anywhere. Close the door. Yes. And then uh, what's his name? Ford is stuck down there. Holy. Wow, that's it. Jeez. Guys are just in time. For the body. Hey, well, I delivered. I handed her to you. Yes. I suppose you did. Oh my god, are they gonna so, torture him and kill him? What about my reward? Oh my god. I think he wanted me to. I think it made it easier for him to be the villain of the piece. Does it ever get easy? You mean life? <gasps> yeah. Oh. Does it get easy? What do you want me to say? Holy crap! Are you kidding me? me. They did yes, turn him. It's terribly simple. The good guys are always stalwart and true. The bad guys are easily distinguished by their pointy horns or black hats. And, uh... Liar. <laughs> what? Hold on. Why isn't it stopping? Um. Was that Ford? So he was, they, they, they turned him. That was him, right? He had, what the heck? That was insane. And then she just, she was waiting for him by the funeral. And then she just killed him. Yeah, that was him. <coughs> so he did get his wish. Wow, I did not expect that. I thought they were just like tear him apart or torture him or like just suck his blood and not turn him. But he got his wish. They actually turned him. But he didn't. He doesn't realize what Buffy said and what I didn't realize at all either until you guys pointed it out. It's not like when you turn, you're yourself. It's you die and then a demon just occupies your body and you're you're dead essentially so 
like yeah it's not it's not what he thought but he was what a twist he was dying first there was a bunch of twists first of all the fact that he was like i knew something was up with this guy i didn't know what but he was part of this like vampire society that like worshiped them and then they thought vampires were were good and they didn't want to harm anyone and then it turned out that oh yeah and then when he asked her to meet up with with him at the school at the school he knew that she knew right he knew that she knew he was bad right and was going to confront him and then she confronted him at the club and then that nerdier guy was like i got it all set up don't worry i I got it set up he kept saying that and i didn't understand what was happening he set up the place like this bomb shelter place to then have the the gigantic door (coughs) the door that only locks that you can only open from the outside like that whole place was set up for this this plan like this plan was put in motion from like they planned this whole thing out so that's what he was talking about where he was saying he said it he set it all up and then um um and then he turns out that he had cancer brain cancer he had a tumor in his head i think it was yeah he had a tumor in his head and that he was had six months to live. So he wanted to, to become a vampire to become immortal. So it was like, and then you feel bad for him, right? You're like, but then he's trying to, he wants, he's sacrificing all those people to get killed just so he can become a vampire. So he can't really sympathize with them. If he was doing it alone and, 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 and you know, sought out a vampire and, and was like, turn me or like even angel or something. Angel would never do it, but if he was doing it on his own and not sacrificing other people, I could I could kind of feel bad for him. But the fact that he was he was willing to kill a bunch of other innocent people was like, no, you can't this this can't happen. And even like it doesn't matter, even if he was doing it alone, you he can't he, you can't turn him and everything will be okay because it's not him. It's a demon that takes over his body. So it, it wouldn't work no matter what. So um yeah what that was so cool that episode had me interested the entire time like i you, sometimes there's like parts in and episodes of shows that you know you kind of like you get disinterested but this one was like really really on point this is one of my favorite episodes so far <coughs> and they didn't even have to have a big fight scene i thought at the end there's going to be buffy fighting a, a whole like like a bunch of vampires because they're all trapped in there, but it wasn't even like that at all. Like and that, and then that's fine. I liked how she flipped it on them. Like they were all feasting on the people. I thought they were all dying. I was like, oh my god, what a horror show! They're all dying. And then she did her like Buffy super jump and she jumped up, which I love when they do stuff like that. And then she held Priscilla, I think her name is, uh, hostage and threatened to kill her. And Spike is like. He'll do anything for her. You saw it in that moment where he's like, stop everything. Let her go. Like anything she said, he was like, just do it. Get out of here. Go. Like he he's not willing to risk anything for her. So because he really, really loves her. It seems like Um, it also seems like he's getting a little annoyed with her, but he really loves her at the same time. And um, oh, my God, like when I heard what Angel did. That made me sick. Like, I, my stomach was, like, turned when he was, like, he was obsessed with her because she was so sweet and innocent. And then he killed everyone she loved. So he killed her parents, her friends, everyone she loved. And then he inflicted every type of mental torture on her. And then she she couldn't take it. And then she joined, like, a, a, a convent and went, became a nun. And the day that she was like graduating to become a nun i guess he turned her into a vampire like angel was horrible before like i can't even it's so bad but it wasn't him right it was the the demon that was occupying his body and now his old self is back like the the spell that was put on him by the by the gypsies like brought back his 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 old his like human like consciousness i guess and he has to live with the guilt of what the demon vampire did i think right is that how it works i'm not sure 
but um something along those lines like he he's yeah he's like a few hundred years i'm I'm feeling guilty and he said like he was just kind of hanging out for a hundred years feeling guilty about what he did and it was ho- like that's probably just one of the things he did it probably goes way deeper than that but man what a great episode really enjoyed it guys um i have to say that was excellent um let me know your thoughts i'm really curious as to what you guys thought of this episode did you like it as much as me was it uh really well received i really really liked it let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below let me know on patreon your comments leave a likes there as well too and especially on, of course on youtube leave comments likes all that stuff helps but um subscribe to the channel that helps the most guys and if you want full unedited reactions and access to future episodes early access check out patreon as well the links are down below for that and i'll see you guys in the next video i'm out of here peace